folks, Sammy here. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I'll have available soon. Uh, I've been making these and trying to, you know, stay busy on rain days and things like that. Um, these are for your braids, in case you're wondering what they are. They're actually a hair tie. And you can just undo the knot and tie that around your rubber band when you have your braid in. You can hang them from the bottom of your braid. Or you can tie them further up your braid. And uh, they're all different. They're all one of a kind, just like me. One of a kind. So I like to make these and I always love wearing feathers in my hair. Sometimes I don't even go to the trouble of prettying them up. I just stick them in my hair. They're always sticking out the back of my my baseball cap all the time every time I come across a new one. But now if you don't have long hair, like long enough to braid, you can take the leather off and just use the bobby pin and slide that little, that little hoop right there to the end of your bobby pin and pin them up in your hair somewhere because bobby pins are usually pretty pretty secure and then that way um, it'll still have some movement as the wind catches it and whatnot right like say you only got shoulder length hair and it just doesn't look right with a, a long feather like that on the end of a little nubby braid about you know so long right so yeah I've got them in different sizes um, this one here you could wear it in your hair as well or you can give that to your bestie as their friendship feather charms i make quite a few of those these things sell like hotcakes but i make those and uh, you know you can put it on a pendant or use it as a pendant you can pin it in your hair the same with the bobby pin thing going on there or you could probably just take another piece of leather and have a smaller one hanging off you me i'm all about big feathers i love big feathers because i have big hair and then i have these smaller ones that i've been making get in there Sorry, the light's not that great today. That's a rain day. But, uh, yeah, it's a little dream catcher. And it's got the little... The, uh, that's not a bail. It's a... Oh, shoot, what do you call those? Uh, jump ring. So you can do the same. You could pin that in a bobby pin and pin that in your hair. You can wear it as a pendant. You know, I don't suggest using these on your keychain because they're made of feathers, obviously. You know, there's, they're pretty fragile, right? So I make these, and like I say, um, these will all be for sale. And then uh, I've been doing some of my leather work. And that right there is a small medicine bag. These, this is the size that I make for either the bracelet size or to hang from your rear view mirror. Um, you can probably wear it as a choker if I put the necklace attachment at the top and with a little neck, like a little extender on it. All right, so you can wear that. It'll hold like two ibuprofen or something, you know, whatever. Um, I'm making this longer one, and uh, I like these for camping. Now, don't judge me by these little bumps that you see in the in the lace. When you make the cordage, you start from a round piece, and you go round and around and around until you cut it all into one long strip. But you have to trim off the little bumps, all right? So, and that's it takes a little bit of time, but I don't mind. And this one here will hold you could probably fold up a couple dollar bills and put that in there or whatever you like right and then it has the button clasp i can't do this one hand it does fit i just i can't do this with one hand anyways you get the idea so this one's not done yet and there'll be more feathers on this one as well so try to get that in there This is much easier with two hands. But you don't want the buttonhole too big, otherwise everything falls out. So, And again, I suggest that, uh, I've said this to people before, if you're going to wear a leather craft, it is going to discolor after time due to body oils and things like that, right? Um, if you want to put dubbin or mink oil or something on it, it's, this is doe skin. Um, it's going to change the color. It'll make it darker. It won't have that nice soft color that it has now eventually it will get darker and be become more the more you handle it the more brown it's going to get and the same as the lighter cases there and these are great when you're going to an event or something and you're always losing your lighter if you're going camping even that way your lighter is always on you it's great for survival you know throw that around your neck and you always have a lighter um if you're interested in those but you don't like big lighters i can make them for a cricket all right, the, the little flat ones, all right, and I can make them in the mini size as well. So price all depends on, on what you're, you're looking for.
And then I make these dream catchers, but I make them out of bracelets. So over time, say you've had this for 20 years and it's getting really beat up, you know, the cat, the kids, whether, you know, it falls down or, or gets knocked around or something. Um, this one's not finished either. But if that should happen, because, I mean, anytime you buy something over time, right, it wears with age. It's just, just the nature of the beast, All right? But when that starts to get to where it's not so pretty anymore, you just cut the, the stuff off. And if you look around the edges, it has turquoise beads all the way around the edges. Well, it's a bracelet, so you still get something for your money after the fact. So you use it for one thing until time takes its toll on it, and then you give it a quick wash up, get the dust and that off it, and bam, now you got your bracelet. So you get something for your money, right? I always like to make sure that you can use something for something and use it for something else later. So especially, you know, I mean, if I go out and, and if I get one of these and I pay $20 or something for it and, you know, after time it gets wore out, it's like, oh, I miss that. Well, then at least I still have a bracelet, right? Kind of like the, what's that, the Kinder Surprise. You get your chocolate and a toy. <laughs> so, but yeah, I like to make them out of that. So there's always something after, right? So you never know. So, and I got a thing for feathers. I love my feathers, obviously. Got my craft table cleaned off. This is clean, believe it or not. And uh, two jars of feathers there. But my problem is, and don't judge me by this mess. This is my craft corner. If you have a crafter in your life, and or you are a crafter, you know what that means. It all starts out with one cupboard. Okay, so listen up, folks. When she says she needs a cupboard, don't just get her one. Get her like three or four. Or you got flowers out, glue out, you know, a whole thing full of this and that. You got your bingo dabbers for the ink. You got spray paint and glue and poor plants got to sit on the floor because there's no room for them. You got beads and Christmas stuff and pine cones and more beads and half-finished paintings. And then this is feathers. You think I'm joking. My poor carpet has seen all these feather bits, leather bits, string bits. All right. This is all feathers. All feathers. I have every color feather and kind of feather you can imagine in here. They've all been dyed different colors. There's some in this one too. Well, you don't need to see. Just trust me. Take my word for it. More feathers. See that? Even that little box has got feathers. And here I've got leather. And this here is moose hide. I know you can't see because the lighting. It's nice and thick for moccasins. I don't make moccasins to sell because never get the size right it never happens so these are just basically for me to do my my moccasins just for family so and then you know the dog when we had our dogs the dogs would chew them all the time and i'd get an order just almost ready to go and then find the dog chewing on it just no so but yeah i got feathers here feathers here feathers here and feathers here so i'm gonna put them all in this big box and whoever thought you would need all this <laughs> To make four of those, three of those, <laughs> and one of those in an afternoon. Yeah, so. And if that doesn't impress you, here's a sticker of chip paint. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't have to cook, so I'm just going to relax and do some more crafts. Maybe clean up my craft room. Probably be a good idea. At least get it organized. So keep your moonshine on. Keep smiling. Be good to one another. And please have a very safe weekend. Alright, God bless. Bye-bye now.